Hi everyone, Nick from F-Zero Camera here. At the core of the F-Zero Camera is the intermediate sensor. This is the 8x10 inch surface onto which our objective lens will project its image, which we will then capture with our taking camera. The intermediate sensor consists of several parts. Number one, the sensor box itself, which is what houses all of the sensor elements. Number two, the compression plate, which threads into the sensor box using eight M5 screws to hold everything in place. Number three, two rubber gaskets, which line the interior of the sensor box. These help protect the glass from scratches and also prevent dust from entering the system. Four, the sensor elements, consisting of our custom high-resolution ground glass, two Fresnel sheets, and three panes of anti-glare clear glass. And number five, finally on the outside, we can attach the bellows clips with red thumb screws. Make sure not to unwrap the packaging on the glass elements until you're ready to assemble your sensor. We want to make sure that they're absolutely pristine, unscratched, and without any dust or smudges anywhere. Before we begin, we'll want to prepare our room and make a decision as to how we want to assemble the sensor. There are a couple different ways to assemble it depending on what your ultimate goal is. At the core of the sensor is our F-Zero high-resolution ground glass, but if we let our lens shine directly on that glass, we would see extreme vignetting on the corners. For that reason, we use the Fresnel lenses to help bend the light back inward and brighten the corners of the image. Now, one Fresnel sheet is good. Two Fresnel sheets can make the image even brighter and more consistent at the corners. However, using two Fresnel sheets can tend to introduce artifacts into your image, so, if your goal is the cleanest image possible, I recommend using just one Fresnel sheet, and we would place that on the side of the ground glass facing the lens, with the ridges also facing toward the lens. However, if your goal is the brightest image possible, you can use the second Fresnel sheet on the opposite side of the ground glass, this time on the camera side, with the ridges facing toward the camera. Also, note that there are two different focal length Fresnel lenses included with your kit, a 300mm sheet and a 330mm sheet. I would use the 300mm lens on the camera side and the 330mm lens on the lens side. You get three sheets of anti-glare clear glass to use in the assembly. You should use one on each end of the assembly, sandwiching all the delicate parts inside and acting as a protective layer. If desired, you can use a third sheet inside the assembly to help space things out if needed. For this demonstration, I'm going to make a four-element assembly. Ground glass in the middle, 330mm Fresnel lens on the lens side of the assembly, and two sheets of clear glass on the outsides. Once you've decided on your assembly, we'll collect all of our materials and prepare our working area. In addition to the F-Zero camera components, you'll want a 3mm hex wrench for the compression plate screws, a pair of nitrile gloves for your hands, and a small blower or a can of compressed air. I recommend using a room with hard floors like a bathroom or a laundry room. Avoid rooms with carpet. Turn off any fans or air conditioning. We want the air to be still. Mop the floor and wipe down every surface with a wet rag. Leave the room damp if possible, which will help trap dust as it falls to the ground. After wiping everything and getting your materials together, just wait a couple of minutes for dust to settle to the ground before you get started. So, lay everything down, make sure the rubber gasket is inside and properly aligned, and we'll get started on our first sheet. As we pick up each sheet, inspect it to make sure that there's no dust anywhere. Blow with your blower or compressed air to ensure cleanliness before it goes down into the assembly. The outer glass layer goes down first. We want to make sure it's nicely centered with just a couple millimeters of overhang on each side. Next goes my 330 millimeter Fresnel sheet with the ridges facing down. If you can't tell which way is which, you can run your fingers gently along the surface. The side that makes a zipper sound is the side with the ridges. Okay, next the F-Zero high resolution ground glass and finally one more glass sheet. After all the elements are installed, grab the compression plate, ensuring the rubber gasket is installed and aligned, and set it down gently on the assembly. Remember that these are glass elements and quite delicate, so as we go to screw them in place, we want to be gentle. Too much torque can easily damage or destroy the interior layers. We want to tighten progressively, turning just a little bit on each screw, then going to the next screw in an X pattern, 
to make sure no side gets too tight relative to the others. You want to land on a final torque of no more than 1 to 2 newton meters for each screw. If you need more torque than you can do by hand, then you're probably overdoing it. And finally, we have the bellows clips to install. There are two clips for each side, which should go on the top and the bottom, with the long ends facing inward toward the glass. These will help hold the bellows in place when assembled into the complete camera. And that's it! Your F-Zero camera intermediate sensor is now ready to capture some unique and breathtaking imagery. Enjoy. <laughs>